Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I've got 32 big money, unexpected bolos coming your way. And these bolos come from my featured members of this channel. So my channel is completely free, but if you would like to join memberships for perks, um, so to be featured in this video, you would have to join at level two. Um, there is a join button over here. If you don't see it, no, wait, over here. Sorry, over here. If you don't see it, there's also a link down in the description that will tell you more about that. Um, we are going to dig right in. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, some of these are going to amaze you guys. These bolos are awesome. And um, these were picked up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, different places. And I'm going to give you all that information. And this will help you guys source better. So it helps me too. I love it. All right, let's get started here. So the first item comes from Gigi's Gold Mine and no YouTube channel, but an eBay store. And I want to invite you guys to go down to the description of the video and check out all of the channels that are in this video and all of the eBay stores. They are all linked down below and you guys will definitely learn from everyone. But this is a really awesome store and I love how they have... Um, this here comes Christmas set up. So I didn't know you could do that. So I probably need to freshen up my eBay store because um, that looks pretty cool. All right. So the first item, they got this. I believe it's a husband and wife team. And this bottle of perfume came from an estate sale for $5. Now, this one is new old stock, you guys. They paid five bucks in estate sale and it sold the same day for a best offer of $5 hundred dollars you guys um it's called mm, gosh i'm probably gonna say this wrong tempe maybe passat but it's an edp ada parfum i think is how you say it probably wrong but um it's a unisex perfume so very very cool now i will tell you that somebody reached out to me and mentioned that perfume has to be new to be sold under perfume and from what they're saying is you cannot sell it if it's partially used under collectibles. I have not called eBay and confirmed that. For now, I have taken down all of my um, partially used perfumes just to be safe. I thought we could put them under collectibles because sometimes people want the bottles. But um, I need to confirm that before. I, I don't want my account to get in trouble. So definitely call eBay, do a little research if you have perfume listed. Uh, I don't know if they're really strict about it or if they're not. I just, I don't have enough information for you guys, but I have sold perfume, used perfume in the past. And I just wanted to mention it to you guys, but they used to allow you to do it. I think that's more of a recent change. So I don't know, I guess just do your research. But this one, again, was new old stock. So um, I believe that is fine to be under collectibles. Or I think it could be under perfume. So anyway, I don't know. Just do your research when it comes to perfume. Definitely ship it ground, you guys. You cannot ship this priority mail. It has to ship ground. Any perfume. Anything with alcohol in it, I believe. All right, so this is Antiques at Wandering Creek. Um, eBay store, no YouTube channel. Awesome stuff. Again, the link is down in the description. And the bolo they sold is this Jim Shore Halloween Witch. It's a tea light holder. And you guys, Jim Shore is a great brand to look for. Definitely look them up. They range from bread and butter to big money. This one was picked up at an estate sale for $4 and she sold it for $135. So we all know that Halloween items, Christmas items, you know, they do pretty well anyway on their own but if you can find the brands that are good and retired pieces they can definitely go for more the next item comes from dare to dream big and she is a bolo finder been selling some cool stuff i honestly can say that pretty much everybody i feature is a bolo finder that's some of them are bread and butter bolos but a lot of them find big money bolos and i'll tell you what like i enjoy selling everything so i'm learning from each and every one of them now, this one is just a little bit unbelievable, you guys. Are you ready for this? These are vintage baby girl Nike sneakers, walking shoes. Look how cute they are, but look how beat up they are, you guys. 
Would you have picked these up or would you have walked right past them? Let me know in the comments. Say, I would have walked past the heart shoes or I would have bought the heart shoes. And um, I I'd like to see what you guys have to say. She bought these for 50 cents at a thrift store and they sold the same day for a best offer of $200. So could she have held out for more? I'm going to guess if she got an offer for $200 in the first day that maybe she could have. But with a 50 cent investment, I think I would have jumped all over that $200 also. So really fun bolo. The next item comes from Danielle, Yard Sales and Dreams. And she is definitely a bolo finder. You guys, this one right here. Wait until you see it. I actually had somebody ask about slides today in my Facebook group, and I directed them to Danielle's channel because she bought a whole bunch of slides at an online auction. She said the breakdown is probably about $5 for all of these. Now, what I did notice is you guys look at the time spent on getting these pulled up so that she could show people previews of the photos. Now, I'm guessing that maybe a reseller is buying this and is going to part these out. I don't know. Or maybe somebody just collects them. But, I mean, she took the time to go through and find some really fantastic um, slides to feature. I know I just saw one that has um, a Halloween picture right here. So, this is a vintage Halloween picture. You guys, if you ever see vintage Halloween pictures, you can sell them individually on their own. Um, they can be big money, especially the black and whites, but she ended up selling this lot for $242 and 50 cents on auction, had 13 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So if you want to know more about these slides, head on over to yard sales and dreams. And I'm hoping maybe she's going to put out a video that just kind of tells people how she sorted these and how she decided to sell what with what. And because that is a huge task and she really conquered it because I checked out her solds and this is not the only lot that she sold for big money. She did fantastic. All right, the next item comes from Auctions For You and Auctions For You has recently bought out like a huge toy storage unit and a toy store. She has got so much awesome inventory right now. Amazing. Uh, she also like a sporting goods unit. So if you're looking for inventory, definitely check out her channel. She does selling events over there. This item is a Mickey Mantle signed um, autographed ball from, and it's got the, the form that says that it's like legit right here. And she said she did take a best offer. She took 10% off of the asking price. And there it is, you guys. How cool is that? And I believe that came out of that sports uh, storage unit, but I'm not 100% sure. All right. The next item came from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And I actually, let's go back to this. I'm in the process of doing an unboxing of a mystery toy box that I ordered from auctions for you. So stay tuned to my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel right here. That's me. Um, and watch for a unboxing with screenshots of what has sold and what and how I listed everything. All right. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, another big money bolo finder. Oh my goodness. This girl, I love the stuff that she sources. She kind of um, sources things that I would pick up. So I really enjoy her uh, content. So she is doing these live shows, which they kind of remind me of my Bolo category videos where I pick a category and I dig deep into it and then I bring you guys a video. But she's doing hers live, which is really cool because you can go over and you can ask questions and be a part of the chat. And Noelle is super knowledgeable. So definitely check out her live show. But um, what I wanted to show you that she sold is this Heidi Doss retired ghost pen. And okay, so there's a little story behind this. She got this at a live sale. She paid $170 for it, you guys. And her goal was to double her money. And this is, from what she said, the highest Heidi Doss sold on eBay right now. So she really did a fantastic job. But she sold it for $399.99. And if you go over to her Instagram, you can see her posts of her sold. She does a really good job of keeping you up to date on... um her what solds. Okay. Let me, um, update this real quick because she got 
a banner between the time I got this ready. So reselling with honey, um, newer channel, but I've been checking out some of her videos and I have really, really enjoyed them, but she did unclaimed packages exposed. And it's funny because I don't know if you guys have noticed on Facebook, there's a lot of people selling these unclaimed packages. And, um, I thought about buying one and then I watched her video and I'm like, it would be fun to do a video. So check out her video and you guys let me know if you think I should buy one and do a video. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so what did she sell? She um, sold this 50 states hand embroidered quilt and it's got the flowers and the state birds and it's an 87 by 79. All right, sorry. I just wanted to confirm that I had the right thing up. Uh, but look at the detail of this amazing quilt. And I bet the Fi resellers would love this. Uh, the Fi resellers love selling quilts. If you haven't checked out their channel, they're super knowledgeable. Go check them out. Um, so reselling with honey got this quilt at a yard sale for 10 bucks and she took a best offer of $20. I'm sorry, $200, not 20, $200. And it does say there are some yellow areas. All right, you guys, we're going to continue to go through some more sellers here, featured members, I should say. And then we're going to have a speed round at the end. So stay tuned for the speed round. All right, this one comes from Mindful Recycle, who is almost at 1,000 subscribers. You guys, go sub her up. Um, she is a big money bolo finder, but she will also pay up for her items, and she does a lot of state sale finds. This is a Mr. Christmas. You guys always, always, always look up Mr. Christmas. It is most often a, uh, a bolo. This is super, super cool. She got this at a garage sale for $25 and she sold it for $399.99. The only thing I would recommend that she would do is add a video to her description. But that's just what I would do because I would want to see how this works. And I see this and I'm like, I want to know what it does, you know, and I'm guessing the horses maybe go around. Maybe they have magnets. I'm not really sure, but I would love to know. So that is one recommendation that I have you guys is to add a video to your description so people know how it works. She still sold it for $400, so she obviously did not need the video. But um, for someone like me that would be looking, it would be cool to see that. Okay, One Stop Shop 59. Again, no YouTube channel, but eBay store. So check it out. I'm just gonna scroll while I'm looking here for what I need. And let's check out her bolo. She has this Christmas Express train and she actually put six pieces in the title and it's actually only four. And she messaged the person and told them and they're like, I still want it. So um, definitely a bolo. She got this at a second hand shop for 20 bucks and took a best offer of $285. It's a Christmas Express train stocking holder. And I was looking at it and I'm trying to figure out where the stocking hangs. Stocking holder. So I don't know. I was kind of confused by that. But really, really cool piece and definitely a bolo. Neat finds from Naomi. Uh, again, no YouTube channel, but awesome eBay store. You can check it out down below. So this item that she picked up is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know if I would have sourced it because I probably wouldn't want to ship it, but I don't know. It's so cool. It's an MCM mid-century modern fifties, Italian brass wheat and table. You guys, it's a, it's brass. Look at this. Is that amazing or what? Would you have picked it up or would you have walked past it? Let me know in the comments. She got this for $82 on an online auction and sold it for $400. And $25, the buyer was all in for $485 and it sold within three days of listing. The next item comes from the Philly Flipper. Um, you guys, he's got awesome content, uh, garage sale videos, but he pops up um, things that have sold and how he listed things. So it's not just garage sales. It's actually education also. So check him out. Now, he was telling me about this. Uh, it's a scuff gaming vintage xbox 360 controller now this is a rare one and he said this is for gamers but he was saying down here something about the back of it is how you know that it is um let me see let me pull up what he said because i think that you guys would want to know this 
Um, it was on Instagram. He messaged me if I can find it real quick. And all right. So what he wrote is he said he paid $5 for it and it sold in less than a week. It's a very sought after brand used by gamers. Um, he said on the back, these two paddles, that's how you know it's a scuff. The paddles are extra buttons that give gamers an advantage when playing. So I think it has something. He circled these white and uh, this area on both sides. So I, you guys, that's foreign language to me. Like I have no idea what he's even talking about. It makes no sense. But um, if you guys know anything about these, that's what you're looking for. That's going to bring the value up of the item. So a little tip from Philly Flipper there. All right. The next item comes from Franklin Hills Ventures. And as I've told you guys before, he sells on multiple platforms and he also sells in booths, which is really, really cool. But I absolutely love this item. It is a Franz Porcelain Tiger. Um, Tiger and Cub cup and saucer with spoon. You guys look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the spoon. I mean, that is amazing. Now he did pay up a little bit for this. He paid uh, $40 or $45 for these at an online estate. And he ended up uh, selling it for a hundred plus shipping. So he definitely made some good money on it. But um, if you could pick this up cheaper, that would be even better, but definitely a bolo item. The next item comes from B, B, B carried away and Carrie is amazing, like very detailed, sells everything from vintage clothing to vintage hard goods, just a huge array of items. And she finds awesome stuff. Look at this jacket. It's a vintage 50s and 60s um, bro Bromley, I think is how you say it, New York, Persian curly lamb wool. You guys, she got this at a thrift store for four, or I'm sorry, the Salvation Army for $4. Look at the detail of this jacket. And she took a best offer of $90. So very, very cool. She picks up a lot of vintage clothing. She really has a good eye for it. The next item comes from Money Making Mama. And I did not hear back from her today. Um, so I do not have details on her items, but I am still going to share them because she has a really unique way she sources. And I'm guessing this is where this came from. Dirt cheap. I don't know what she paid for it. Um, but typically her margins are pretty good. So this is kind of like a retail arbitrage, a dirt cheap. Um, we don't have one locally. If you do, you might want to look into it. But she sold five of these for uh, $67.99 and free shipping. But here's the kicker, you guys. She had three lots and they all already sold. So um pretty good idea. She's sourcing in bulk and then she's making lots. So it's one listing, multi-quantity and retail arbitrage. So check her out. Jack's Treasures does storage units and they've got lots of cool stuff over on their channel. So check them out. And their bolo item is this vintage Mattel Shogun Warriors Great Mazinger Z Jumbo Figure. It says incomplete as is, you guys. And let's get some other little photos here. They got this at a yard sale for free. So what they said they were doing is they were piling up stuff at a yard sale. And the person having the yard sale just threw this in free. Like, okay, here's $176 free. You see right here, it says made in Japan. That's definitely anything made in Japan. Always look it up. I actually have a bolo category of made in Japan items to be on the lookout for. So very, very cool. Very cool bolo. I love, I love selling toys. So and made in Japan and Christmas. So, all right. Anytime picker. All right, you guys go and check out his channel. He's almost to 500 subs. Let's get him there. And he sold this Bond 50, the complete 22 film collection, limited edition Blu-ray disc set. He got this at the Goodwill for $7.99 and sold it for $152.10 plus shipping. All right, you guys, are you ready for the speed round? Again, if you would like to join memberships, there's a link down in the description of the video. There are links to all of these channels and all of these eBay stores down below. I encourage you guys to go check out some of these channels. They are amazing. Um, show them some love with a sub. 
And let's start the speed round. So this one is from Anytime Picker also. Where in time is Carmen San Diego? And where in the world is Carmen San Diego? This is a PC game. I'm guessing a game or maybe a, I think it's a game. Let's see. Uh, sometimes you can go up here and see what category. Uh, software. So PC software. I don't know. I'm guessing it's a game. And he got this at the Goodwill for $3.29 and sold it for $134.10 plus shipping. This next item comes from Jack's Treasures. You guys, it is a Starbucks mug. If you don't know, some Starbucks mugs can go for big money. It is absolutely crazy. You definitely want to be looking them up. This one says St. Petersburg. They got this at an estate sale for $1 and they flipped it for $140 on eBay. Like unexpected. Never would have thought that, but just wow. It's a lot of money. Okay, this one comes from Money Making Mama. It is a new vegan leather transport diaper bag. I don't know where she paid for it. I don't know where she got it. I'm sorry she did not get back to me. Um, she's usually really good about getting back to me, so I'm not sure what happened this month. But she sold it for $59.97 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1980s Levi's Type 3 Trucker Blue Denim Jean Jacket. Now, type three, I have no idea what that means. Made in the USA. It's a size 40. Here's the tag. Does it say type three somewhere? Okay, so um, let's see. Sometimes she puts a lot of uh, additional information down in the comments. So I thought maybe type three would be down there, but I don't see anything on it. Uh, she got this at the Salvation Army for $5.99 and sold it for $89.99. And this is also from Be Carried Away. The next item comes from Franklin Hills Ventures. These are amazing. They're like vases. It says they're made out of bisque. It's a figural, figural boy and girl. And it's a vase. It doesn't look like a vase when you look at it. But check this out. Let me see. I'm trying to get the top here. I thought there was a picture. Maybe not. All right. What am I doing wrong? Doesn't it? It says vase, right? Vases. Pair of guys Hubble spill vases. Huh. I want to see the top to see how they open. I don't see a picture. But anyway, I'm guessing they open. Maybe just the sides are open right here. It's hard to tell, but you can tell that it's got some a little bit of width to it. So this he got at a yard sale for $4 and he sold it for $99. This came from Philly Flipper. It's a HeroScape Terran lot, 217 hexes grassland. So these are from HeroScape. I don't know what that is, but um, he said he got a huge bag full at the Goodwill for six bucks and he sold just this for $80 plus shipping. The next item comes from Naomi's Neat Finds for you. And um, no, Naomi's Neat Finds. Neat Finds from Naomi. Oh my goodness, I'm mixing up it with another channel. That is so funny. Okay, so four piece set of vintage Hazel Atlas candy stripe teacup and saucers. Look how cute they are. They're really cute. She got these um, at an auction, I believe an online auction for $62 and the buyer was all in for $193, took 20 days to sell and it looks like they sold for $182.49 plus shipping. The next item comes from, I think it was One Stop Shop 59. Okay, I had it wrong. I was thinking of the video I did before. So One Stop Shop 59 is the eBay store. And this is a rare antique plate from 19, I'm sorry, 1894. And it's got the flowers on it. So pretty. Um, look at that. Look at the detail. And this is what it says on the back. It's kind of hard to read. Um, I don't know if she did like a filter or what happened there, but let's see. Here we go. There, that's better. She got this for five bucks at a garage sale. And it looks like it sold for $163.36 and free shipping on that one. The next item is sold by Mindful Recycle, who does a lot of these books, actually. Um, I featured some of these before from her, but these are four volumes of 1896 Universal Dictionary of the English Language, 
Collier and Son. And she got this at an estate sale for $8 and sold it for $299 plus shipping. The next item comes from Reselling with Honey. And this is Royal Albert Silverware. It's flatware. It is stainless. And it's in the original packaging. So what's great about this is it is new old stock. And it still has the original box. And it's complete. $75 she paid for this at an estate sale. And she said, I did pay up for this because I knew that it was going to sell for big money. And it looks like it retailed for $268. Uh, she ended up selling this for $285 plus shipping. The next item comes from Noel Farm Girl Scavenger or Farm Girl Scavenger Noel on YouTube. And these ornaments are just amazing, obviously, when you can sell anything for $250. Look at them. So cool. She got this at a thrift store for $10.12. They sold in eight days for $254.99 plus shipping. The next item is this McFarlane Toys um, set. It's Matrix figure. And it looks like it sold for $139.99. This one comes from the toy buyout that Auctions for You purchased. And um, it is definitely a bolo. You guys, anytime you can find new in the box, new old stock toys, definitely look them up. And again, Auctions for You has selling events on her channel. So if anybody's looking for toys, you guys, this one is amazing. It came from Yard Sales and Dreams. She got this at a yard sale for $160, you guys. Would you have looked at this and said, I'm going to give you $160 for that? Would you have known that this had value? I can't say that I would have. She sold this for $500 plus shipping. It's an antique copper 20-inch cauldron, basin, pot, apple butter, candy kettle, 1800s rare 23 pounds. Now, number one, check out those keywords. She is amazing. And this item is amazing. 500 bucks, you guys. And she got it at a yard sale. This one comes from um, Dare to Dream, I think it is. Let's see. Yep. Dare to Dream Big 1313 is her eBay store. It is a Dracula book. And it is by Brom Stoker stage play edition, original dust jacket, hard to find. She got this at a yard sale. Are you ready for 75 cents? You guys took a best offer of $200 free shipping. The next item was sold by one. This is wandering Creek antiques. I had it mixed up. Okay. Wandering Creek antiques, J Strongwater cheetah leopard ornament. Um, Savorsky, Savorsky, I can't say that word crystals. Look at it. It's got the little tag on it. So if you guys ever see a hang tag on an ornament, that is your cue to look it up. Um, very easy to look things up when you have a brand. This was purchased at an estate sale for $3 and she sold it for $125 free shipping. The next item comes from Gigi's gold mine right there. Ruby red cranberry hanging swag lamp, light glass, mid-century modern vintage. Again, awesome keywords. Here it is. Really cool lit up. Very cool item. He got this at an estate sale for $30 and he flipped it for $199 plus shipping. All right, you guys head on over to my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Check out another video. I just released this one. It's my husband and I, we went to an estate sale and we split up, went separate ways. He found amazing stuff. I found amazing stuff. In this video, I have listed everything and I pop up screen shares of how we listed everything, what we listed it for, but there's probably at least 10 items that have already sold. So you're definitely going to get some education in that video. But at the end of the video, I found something and I don't know how to list it. So go watch the video. Let me know if you have any tips for selling this item because I need your help. Um, Photo Room, I just did a video on how Photo Room works. If you guys haven't checked out Photo Room, it is amazing. Check out that video. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, this is part two. Make sure you go check out part one. Um, there are enough members now that I had to separate it into two videos. Otherwise, it was just going to be way too long. So we're at about 30 minutes, which is fantastic. So check out part one. Um, 
I think there's probably 15 or 16 members in each video. And I'm about to go do a new video. Um, I'm going to try it. It's going to be a bonus video for members this month. It is going to be a speed round. So I'm not going to talk about each channel, but I am going to shout out each channel. Again, this is just a bonus video and I'm going to shout them out. All their information is going to be linked down in the description, just like this. But you guys are going to get to see some big money bolos, fast pace, speed round. So stay tuned for that. That is new this month. You guys can give me your feedback on that and let me know if you like it. All right, you guys. And then I also wanted to ask, how do you guys like the This Is My Bolo, where I invite my featured members to do a 60 second video about a bolo item that they sold. And then I can put them all together as one big long video, uh, usually about 30 minutes, I think, 20, 30 minutes. And I really like those. And I'm thinking about doing one in January. So I want your feedback. Should I do another one in January? All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one.